Now I know why you're all here to watch a video. You want to learn how to make fudging good fudge. Well, I'm about to show you. Cue the intro. Hello and welcome back to Simon's Bacon Isolation Inspiration. If you're new to the channel, welcome. We're a baking show where we don't take ourselves too seriously and we have fudging good fun while we bake. Now today I'm going to be making fudging a good fudge, but I'm not just going to make any sort of fudge, I'm going to make a nice crunchy fudge. Now for you people in America that don't know what crunchies are, it's basically honeycomb wrapped in chocolate that we get in the UK and it is flipping delicious. What family lambs? I've only gone and done it. I've got barnet cut, that's right. My hair is now trimmed. I've managed to get an appointment and I haven't had it cut since December, so it was proper long. So if you're thinking, God, there's something different about Simon today, that's what it is. The ingredients you're gonna to need to make this crunchy fudge is as follows. Right here, I have got 400 grams of milk chocolate. This is the proper cheap stuff that you get in your supermarket. I have got a 397 gram tin of condensed milk. In this little pot, I have got a pinch of salt. I have got three crunchy bars. This is gonna be for the filling and a nice little decoration on top. And lastly, the piece de resistance, I have got some crunchy spread. This stuff tastes absolutely banging and you can get it in your local supermarkets over here, so it's a winner winner. To start with, we need to melt our chocolate. And the easiest way to do that is over a bain marie. But what is a bain marie, you may ask? Well, I'm about to show Before you. Before we get started, party peeps, take five minutes out to line a square baking tin. This is the most boring job, so get someone else to do it your mum, your dad, your boyfriend, girlfriend, whoever is annoying you at the time. You don't want to be stuck doing this job, it's proper boring. And don't worry, family lambs, if you missed any of the ingredients, don't worry, I've got you. I'm gonna leave them in the description down below. Now this is a bain marie. What is a bain marie? It's a French posh word, but basically put in a Pyrex bowl on top of a saucepan with a little bit of water in and melt in some chocolate. I don't know why they didn't just call it that anyway. Now here is a top tip for you parting peeps at home in your saucepan, only fill it up with enough water so it doesn't touch the bottom of the bowl. If you put water up to the bottom of the bowl, it will cook the chocolate and it will make it go real lucky. So just make sure that your water doesn't touch the bottom. And what you wanna do is break up your 400 grams of this cheap chocolate, put it in a bowl, pop it on your stove, and put it on a really low gas until all the chocolate is melted. Easy as that, really. Now while the chocolate is melting away quite happily, I've gone and weighed myself out 100 grams of the crunchy spread, and I've also whopped the top off of my condensed milk. This is the sweetened version, so make sure if you're making this at home, you get that. Now, what is condensed milk, I heard you say? Well, I have no clue, to be honest with you. I thought it was just a lot of milk packed into a very small can. I know, right? I'm gonna have a little taste test because I've never tried it before. That's really nice that is. Oh, it's just like custard. And there we go, party peeps. There is my chocolate all melted and that looks proper good, doesn't it? Now, I know the temptation, stick your fingers in, give it a taste test, but this is really hot. So you don't wanna stick your fingers in there because you know, you burn the skin off your fingers and it'll be real lucky. So instead, now's the time to go in with your tin of condensed milk, whop the whole lot straight in. Now your condensed milk's in there, go in with your pinch of salt, and also your crunchy spread. I'll use my fingers, because I ain't got a spoon really. Now you wanna give that a stir together until it's all stirred together. Now I've been stirring this for about 20 seconds, and as you can see, it's gone really thick, really stiff, and very fudgy. So just give that a little mix together, just to make sure that everything is incorporated. Now when you think to yourself, yeah, I think that's smooth enough, now it's time to go in with your crunchy pieces. 
So, get your crunchies or your honeycomb or whatever. You can go with Maltesers, Smarties, anything you want, caramel even. Here, give that a little tap on the table just to break it up and then pop it in and give that a gentle fold in. So here we go with our crunchy pieces that I've smashed up. Look at all that. Going with two crunchies, because you know what? This is a crunchy fudge. You want to make it taste like it, don't you? Now don't be shy, proper get in there and fold it all in. It will be a bit stiff, but just keep working it. And eventually, you'll get all that all incorporated. And there we go. Now it's time to get this into this. So it should come out in one big old lump. Bosh, have a look at that. Now, with a spatula, just literally flatten it all out till it's all even and pressed into the edges. And there we go, there is my fudge mixture all smoothened out. Now, what we want to do is give your other crunchy a little bash up and just pop it into a bowl. Now, what you want to do is get it in your hands and literally just sprinkle it all over the top. And lastly, with your spatula, just give that a gentle little push into the fudge. This will stop it from all falling off once it's... And there we have it, party peeps. That is my crunchy, fudging good fudge. So now what you want to do is pop this lot into the fridge for about three, four hours until it's rock hard and it's proper fudge. Let's get in the fridge. And there we go, family lammers. It has been exactly three hours and it's out of the fridge and now it's rock hard and ready to cut up. So get a sharp knife and just mark it roughly out. You want it to be little bite-sized pieces. So just give it a little cut up and then pop it all onto your serving tray. Pipe peeps, that is my fudge. And have a look at that. Go on, have a look at it. Look at that, Ooh, look at that, wow, look at that, wow, look at that, wow, look at that, go on, look at it. Now there's only one thing left to do and that's get some of this into our gobs. Let's have a taste. Right, it's proper. Fudgy, so tasty, proper delicious, and absolutely tastes like crunchy. It's a winner winner Sunday lunchtime dinner. This is exactly I know what you're gonna say. Simon, technically this isn't baking, you haven't baked anything. Well, you are dead correct there, I haven't baked anything, but you know what? Who cares? This stuff is proper delicious and proper sickly. Thank you so much for taking the time out to watch this video. If you've enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe and until next time, peace out.